So our last speaker, uh, Dr. Shaoning Ding, is actually new to NJT, just joined us. So hopefully you're still very happy of being with us and stay with us. Dr. Ding's research has improved the performance of multi-core computer systems before coming to NJIT. He worked as a research scientist in the prestigious uh, Intel Science and Technology Center at Carnegie Mellon University. Um, his research in multi-core system design was so effective that has been used by Intel and Red Hat. He has published more than 20 academic papers and won a Best Student Paper Award in 2008. And his research results are expected to fundamentally impact the design of virtual machines, which are the building blocks of cloud computing. He was awarded the, compu awarded the Computing Innovation Fellowship, which is founded by CRA, Computing Research Association, and the National Science Foundation. He received his PhD in computer science in 2010 from the Ohio State University. Welcome to NJIT. Thanks for the introduction. Okay, uh, Professor Kamala just uh, introduced uh, the secret challenge for the cloud computing. So here I will give you more, but uh, I'm not going to discourage you. Actually, I'm going to uh, introduce the solutions to part of challenges, and uh, actually we're also working on so solutions for other challenges. And uh, okay, sorry. Uh, so I'm not saying that cloud computing is not good by giving you so many changes. Uh, I'm saying that uh, we are going to make cloud computing better so that you can benefit from cloud computing better. So uh, in today's talk, I'm going to cover the challenges when you migrate your applications from your on-site platform to cloud computing platform. So everybody is talking about moving applications, IT services to cloud computing. So this slide clearly shows that organizations are currently moving their applications to cloud computing. Uh, this table is uh, part of uh, Gartner 2012 sale review. Uh, Gartner uh, is a company that carrying out IT uh, research and advisory business. So it's carry out CIO survey every year. So thousands of uh, CIO in the world uh, take part in the, the review uh, in the survey. So uh, this table just uh, shows uh, the top technologies CIO select as one of their top three uh, priorities. So as we can see that the cloud computing ranked number three in 2012, number one and number two in 2011, 2010 respectively. Uh, it's also important to note that uh, virtualization ranked number one in 2010 and uh, number two in 2011. Virtualization is a, a key a fundamental attribute to uh, cloud computing. So one question is that it's easy or not to move your application or IT service to cloud computing. Uh, so answer is yes or no. Uh, the answer is yes as long as, you, as your application is simple. But for most enterprise applications, the answer would be no, it's not so easy. It involves a lot of efforts and time. Uh, the process is complex. So to move your application from your on-site uh, on platform to cloud platform, no matter, your no matter you build your own cloud or purchase cloud service, uh, generally you follow several steps. For example, at the beginning of the, the migration, uh, you collect the data on your, uh, uh, your South operating environment, you monitor your application and uh, uh, you characterize your workloads and uh, plan the migration. Then you build your target system on the cloud and move your application over there. And uh, after that, you test your applications on the cloud to make sure that it works correctly 
and so you uh, carry out the security and the compliance check. Uh, after that, you can switch your IT service application to that on your cloud. But the uh, story is not finished yet. You have also continued to monitor your applications running in the cloud and uh, do the performance optimization. So there are a lot of efforts. There are several factors that make the migration, the cloud migration, very challenging. First factor is that uh, you save your data remotely in the cloud, and the data are managed remotely by external organizations. So there is security issues, privacy issues, and your data may be saved uh, in different locations. So that brings data in in integrity problems. So Dr. Kanamala uh, just uh, introduced these issues, and uh, uh, the other factors make the problem very challenging. The second factor is that uh, when you move your application to the cloud, you have to shut down your local copy of the application and uh, bring up the remote copy. So that may introduce uh, service interruptions. So service interruption usually means that, usually means revenue losses. So what you want to do is that you fully test your application before you cut over. Uh, but uh, application testing is time consuming and labor intensive. We have seen that uh, the testing may take weeks, even months. So you write hundreds, even thousands of test cases to test your application. But usually you cannot cover all the cases. And uh, uh, what makes things even more challenging is that uh, some faults may associate with a uh, specific pattern of workload or workload fluctuation. So it cannot be fully tested, I mean the application. Uh, the third factor is that your on-site platform and cloud platform may be completely different. So you move your application to a completely different platform after migration, they may experience faults, so you also experience service interruption. At the same time, you may experience performance losses. I will explain this later. So we worked on these challenges, I mean the uh, uh, testing challenges and uh, uh, for diagnosis challenges. Uh, so we have uh, proposed uh, Pro several approaches to address these challenges. To address the testing challenge, we propose a proxy-based approach to test uh, applications migrate to the, the cloud computing environment automatically. So we focus on, I mean, uh, my IBM research collaborators and I, we focus on web applications. So what we do here is that we exercise both applications uh, in the cloud and on your on-site platform, we treat these applications as platform uh, with black boxes. We exercise uh, applications with the uh, same request. So we duplicate the request and collect responses. This is the requ duplicated request. At the same time, we collect the responses from the application in the cloud. Uh, but we don't deliver the responses to users because they may contain some, some errors. So we use uh, a proxy module to capture the, and to replicate user requests. And so we use a session manager to instrument uh, user requests so that the user request can be recognized by uh, the migrate application. We use an analysis engine to compare responses and to see that if they are identical. If the responses are identical, we can see that, okay, maybe the application's running correctly in the cloud. So the idea is uh, simple here. Uh, with this testing method, we can just test applications to migrate to the cloud. We can also test the applications to migrate from one cloud to uh, to another. Okay. 
to address the, the test uh, the, for the diagnosis problem, we monitor the target location to be migrated to the cloud. Uh, around the, the target location, it's a kind of uh, ecosystem consisting of uh, uh, processes, tools, and the resources that the target application relies on. So we monitor the target application and uh, collect the, the interaction between the target application and the, the ecosystem. We save all these information and try to summarize the information as a kind of uh, application signature. After the application has, migrated, has been migrated to the cloud, uh, we continue to monitor the, the application. If there's some fault happens, we just uh, compare the behavior of the application in the cloud against its signature. So by the comparison, we want to just uh, diagnose what the reasons that may cause the, the application faults. Uh, as I have said that there are some uh, performance challenges after we migrate the application to, uh, to the cloud. Uh, there are several reasons. The first reason is that uh, uh, on your on-site platform, you may fully optimize your applications so that it can run faster. But uh, because you are running applications in the cloud, so the traditional optimization technology may stop to apply. So we have seen that a fully optimized application may be slowed down by more than 10 times in the cloud. Uh, the second reason for the performance challenge is that uh, the traditional way to monitoring applications uh, may, s may not be used anymore in the cloud because you have a limited cap uh, capability to monitor hardware, et cetera, because uh, generally they're not, not, not allowed. Inside the virtual machine, you cannot uh, uh, monitor the, the hardware, right? Uh, the, last, uh, the last reason for the change is that uh, there are fluctuation, fluctuation, fluctuation in resources. So one principle to do a performance optimization is that uh, you know how much resources you can use, and you do uh, performance optimization based on the available resources. But in cloud, uh, how much resources you can use, uh, it's not very uh, easy to estimate. For example, network latency in IBM, uh, in Amazon EC2, may uh, vary wildly from tens of uh, milliseconds to, to several seconds. Tens of milliseconds is normal, but uh, several seconds is too much. Uh, so basically, this is uh, 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 what I want to say in this talk. We may have some challenges, but we are working on that. And uh, uh, I think that cloud computing will get better and better, and uh, we can benefit, from, benefit uh, more from the cloud computing. Thank you.